So this may be a quick video, which is, you know, odd for me. <laughs> this is way past my bedtime. I've just been doing some sorting. Uh, I picked up a lot today uh, from a very nice guy in Burlington. Um, he had bags about uh, five and a half pounds on uh, for about 40 bucks each, which is a very reasonable uh, for, for random bits of Lego that are not just basic brick. So I took him up on it and I showed up and grabbed a few uh, random bags for 40 bucks each. And um, I washed them as I always do. There was some mega block and some other parts, but not too many, which is always nice for me. Um, and so uh, after washing, I started to sort. And of course, they're still drying. There's a little bit of dampness still. Um, but of course, I always sort out blue first. <laughs> <laughs> continuously sort out blue first and um yeah you know, some very very nice parts in there and uh and beams which i'm always short of for blue especially and then red and yellow uh always seem to be the first ones i sort out but then uh, i grabbed some gray plates then these are original light gray which i obviously run low of because you can't get them anymore they don't make them anymore and uh, i seem to use them a lot in my builds so i get some really nice six by x uh plates there and it even had um, a working um, pneumatics. So uh, the um, the pump and one pneumatic tube and a couple wires. Very, very cool to have. Happy, happy, happy. Uh, some wings. Some, again, light gray wings. Um, and there's the other one. And some white wings. Uh, it really, really nice to go complement my collection. But I think overall, most of the pieces were... Um, most of the sets from the minifigs that I saw were uh, pirates or castle or, um, oh, I always forget the other one, but it's the jungle uh, one. So I got some uh, some panels there, some castle panels, uh, lots of castle panels there, there. But uh, some um, Aquazone, I found some uh, Aquazone pieces in here. Uh, always, uh, I think it was six Aquazone, but anyway, um, UFO. Really, really nice. Uh, again, more panels for the castle over there. Uh, some Technic treads and um, links. So that's nice. Uh, but one of my favorite... Fun okay, so here's the minifigs. Just a ton of pieces and parts for uh, minifigs. Uh, some are broken, but not too many. Some are missing hands and arms. But, uh, you know, some classic space there. And, um, you know, the uh, pirates and uh castle lots of castle horses three horses uh with saddles uh these guys lions and even the newer sets of star wars were in here and uh, i found that crusty the clown head uh so that means they had some uh some simpsons and uh, even what's his name greedo from star wars is in here somewhere won't bother pulling him out but um uh, jungle or whatever you call these guys. I always forget. Uh, didn't have any black ones, but uh, some uh, things for the helmets. Um, uh, so classic space there. What's a really interesting one? It's this guy. So yeah, I was missing one. I uh, got it in this lot. So now I can build a small uh, Canada post truck. <laughs> I uh, put mine in the uh, brick fed uh, auction for charity years ago. So um there you go. Uh, very, very happy with this lot for $80 and uh, still sorting. And um, I'm down to the gray and white and whatever's left here in black. Um, but I'll be putting these into the collection first uh, just to make some space. But um, no complaints here. Very, very nice lot for $80. Uh, some really nice pieces. No complete sets at all because he had multiple bags of... Uh, Five and a half pounds each. I only bought two out of the whole bunch, and he had a couple um, containers too of just uh, loose brick. Um, and I could see that uh, there was lots of castle pieces and lots of Technic pieces. And uh, leave them for somebody else, because <laughs> as we all know, I have enough. I actually grabbed this one because uh, what I saw first of all was the yellow tires and uh, the panels, which I'm looking for right here. Yeah, these these guys here. So um, that's why I got it. I might start building those sets again because those are really, really cool sets. I also saw this guy uh, and I actually saw one of the uh, pistons, uh, the pneumatic pistons, and that's why I grabbed that, the, those two baggies there. 
always really nice to have spares of those because I don't have too many. Um, more minifigs than I expected. Uh, usually, oh, and a uh, clutch gear. That's <laughs> one of my favorite things. And even a suspension uh, for, for one of the vehicles. I don't have two of them, but I have a bunch in my collection anyway now. Uh, but lots and lots of minifigs and some Blacktron too. And, uh, but mostly, as I say, Castle and Pirates uh, in here. And you can just see there's just so many castle torsos and pirate torsos. Um, I never really got into the castle theme, but um, but here's the Blacktron. So I got some Blacktron sets to get put together. And again, this from this arrow here is Blacktron 2. Um, this guy here, Blacktron 2. Um, you know, I might uh, start building some uh, Blacktron sets. Electron 2 sets, because they're, they're always really cool to have. Oh, the Space Police too, obviously. Um, a shock absorber, you know, I pulled that out. A claw from the, uh, from my 86880, uh, or at least the black ones. My favorite tires, my, out of plastic, and my favorite tire out of rubber. So, um, very, very happy with this lot. Thank you very much to the nice guy in Burlington. Um... Your stuff is going to go to a good home. Mine. <laughs> I'm going to be building with it. So I will talk to you guys soon. Everybody stay safe. Take care. Wear your mask. And uh, we'll see you at the next show.